morning folks welcome to um monday prayers O oh lord let my soul rise up to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever amen come let us bow down and bend the knee let us kneel before lord our lord our maker now Rachel will lead us in We Are Marching. And humble the proud to feed us together at your table. Psalm 113 verses 4 to 7. The Lord is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God who sits enthroned on high but stoops to behold the heavens and the earth? He takes up the weak out of the dust and lifts up the poor from the ashes. He sets them with the princes, with the princes of his people. You lift the lowly and humble the proud to feed us together at your table. Mommy. Yeah. Which book was that? Okie dokie. Are you going to get a stool and sit with me? I was going to pick it up with a bed and it flew away. Oh, oh, it wasn't dead then. It was just sleeping. Oh, that's okay. Right, it's you gone. Get, that's okay. Right, you get a stool. It's okay. The bug is gone. You get a stool and sit with me. Romans eight thirty one to thirty nine. Okay. Can what I then? Have, can I have the two happy birthdays? Well, not this yet. One? Not yet. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who will be against us? He did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. How will he not also, along with him, graciously give up all things? Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. Who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus, who died, more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? As it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. 
You lift the lowly and humble the proud to feed us together at your table. Mother Teresa said, we are called to be contemplatives in the heart of the world by seeking the face of God in everything, everyone, everywhere, all the time and his hand in every happening, seeing and adoring the presence of Jesus, especially in the lowly appearance of bread and in the distressing disguise of the poor. And now Pam's going to lead us in our prayers for others. Hello and welcome to the Prayer for Others part today. What I've got in my hand is something that was put together by one of our youth groups about eight years ago. I was looking at it today and I'm going to pray through it because a lot of the things that are happening in our world in Haiti and Afghanistan here amongst our most vulnerable are here almost 10 years ago still the same so let's pray for these things Father we sit we stand wherever we are we come to you we come to you knowing that you want us to see you in everything you want us to see you everywhere you want us to see you in the people that we interact with we want our leaders to see you where there is need. And we start praying our string, our map. War. Father, here we are with our hand in the pie once again. A place where we went to have influence. A place where we've done it so often, even back in the time of General Gordon, we were interfering. We were trying to mould peoples in our ways, not your way. We think of the people of Afghanistan at the moment, where things are, are changing. Where in the last 20 years, was not perfect but women could have education you could say don't think our government's doing the best you could do these without fear of reprisals women could walk the streets un with their face uncovered but no more father I pray that our leaders see you in the faces of the men, the women, the children and the young people who are displaced. Those who assisted, who worked for governments, embassies and universities, who feel their life is up in flames. Help our leaders to see you in their faces. Help our leaders to hear you speak out about this and help us not to just pass it by as it's over there greed father across the world at so many levels of life hi high levels of business and just in everyday places greed is rampant greed ha holds has a hold on so many people such a hold that decisions are made in the eyes of greed not in the eyes of fairness of equity or justice not in the eyes of love and care 
for the people we see you in. Father, people being treated as the other, places where children still have to labour without a chance to be educated. They have to labour in places where their lives are put at danger by chemicals, by poor ventilation, all in the name of greed. Greed raises its head again. Father, we pray for the faithful who are living in places where there is conflict and where greed is good. We pray for the faithful who speak out. We pray for the faithful who, who pray out. We pray for the faithful who see you in our family. Father, our earth is not finite. We have spread into places we really shouldn't have be. We've used up resources where if we'd left them alone there would be enough for everyone. We bring whole species to extinction, never thinking that one day we will be the ones facing that. Father, bless those who, who do go out of their way to make things known. Thank you for Greta and thank you for Greenpeace who are doing their best to make us listen to you and do our best. We pray for our families, our families near and our families far. Pray that they stay safe and that we get out the other side of this virus, this warning to us without any more lockdowns, without any more huge flare-ups. We've come so far, yet so many are still hesitant to understand or to see you in the situation. We pray for the education of our, of our young. It's been disrupted over the last while but, but they've held it together and we thank you for that. Father this seems to be a, a shopping list but that's how it reads. There's so much we need to pray to you about. People we know who are grieving, people we know who are struggling, and ourselves. Finally, ourselves, Lord. We go around sometimes thinking, it's all going to be taken care of. But help us to open our eyes. Help us to open our hearts and our minds to see you in everything. To see your face, to hear your words, to see the way that you guide us. And as a family, we say together, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory now and always. Amen. Amen. God of mercy, you cast the mighty from their thrones and lift up the lowly. Free us from the ghettos of poverty and the ghettos of wealth that we might meet on the level ground at the foot of the cross. Amen. May the peace of the, of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. 
May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring us home rejoicing once again into our doors. Thanks for joining us today. Bye just now. You're going to say bye? Bye. Bye. <laughs>